The two parties agreed to the payment of overtime on Sundays and public holidays as per the Labor Act, while the company also agreed to pay 6% of an employee's hourly rate for every hour worked between 8 in the evening and 7 the next morning. The agreement also got rid of the turnaround to sea no, system where employees had no racing hours between trips. Myself. They will now have 36 yeah, or 48 yeah, hours of rest after each trip and a spread over. Emmanuel Petrus is the regional organizer of the Metal, the Mining, the Maritime the and Construction the Union, the which represented the workers. I think is the continuous shift is now for us, the union, the company and the employees to apply to the Ministry of, of Labor and Social Welfare to the Permanent Secretary for, for, for a continuous shift or exemption. continuous operation for an exemption as per Section 139. And it's again for us, the union and the company and the employees, to ask for, for, for increasement or for overtime hours. So all these things we will do together. One the agreement the also saw an increment in the housing allowance of $950 from 250 but no improvements have been made on the pension fund, funeral cover and medical aid. The company lost time in fishing in the last three months and nothing can be done to turn back the clock but to ensure optimal production now that the work has started. The chief executive officer of Gendev Group, Volker Polsmeyer, is relieved to have his workers back on deck. Obviously, we are glad to have the operation back coming up in the next couple of days that we can get back to the normal things of day to day and get the factory back into a humming condition again. <laughs>